Hello and welcome. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you the draft function of one of my favorite AIs, which is Closures Copy. So let's get started. But before we, uh, before I show you all the functionality, let me just show you real quick why I love it. One of the main features of why I really love this um, AI is because it's really good. They update it all the time and it has a lifetime deal. That means you pay for it one time. And if you use my link down below, you get a, a discount, all right? As well as it'll take you to the lifetime plan, which you cannot find on the, on the site, okay? This is a, a special link that I have. I'll give you both a discount and access to the lifetime deal. So if you're interested in that, go ahead and check it out. Most AIs will try to milk you and, and, and get you uh, to buy a monthly fee with credits, um, like such as Jasper, it, it, it will, you know, it's going to cost a lot if you do it like that. But with closest copy, uh, that's not the case. And in th this video, I'm going to be showing you one of the cool features. It's called AI Drafts or Drafts. And what you do is you go ahead and create a new project. I'm just going to go test. Save it. And then open it up. Click on New Document. I'm going to add a, uh, let me see, AI Draft Demo. Save this. Okay. All right. So with this draft function, what you need to do is you have to have a an outline. All right. So I'm going to you know, create a simple outline. Um, dog walking. Uh, let's see. How to walk your dog, why you should walk your dog, when you should walk your dog, and conclusion. Make it real simple. And that's my basic outline. Okay, there's nothing gonna be nothing too complicated. Alright, so that in order to access this feature, you, you're gonna go to the left hand side and scroll down until you see something called drafts. All right, you click on that and you go ahead and build your draft. So what you do is you select the parts that you want to insert in. So the first thing is gonna be the headline. So you go ahead and click on that, click add headline, and it's gonna be dog walking uh, for uh, benefits of dog walking there you go. okay and then it says fill in meaningful topics two to three words uh, just think of it as like kind of a keyword right to help guide the AI to uh, create more meaningful content or focus content. I was just going to say benefits. Let's see. Dog walking benefits. Nope, dog walking. I just keep it like that. Dog walking. Okay. Then you can go ahead and set the, the max word or how long it's going to be. I'm just going to uh, leave it as is. And then you can go to the next part. I'm going to go ahead and click on let's see subheading. Add that in. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and just copy this, paste it in here. And I'll do the same thing again with this one here. Okay. And two more. All right, one, two. One, two. All right. And then from here, you can go ahead and add other elements such as like, well, let me just show you what you have so far. So you have the headline and basically you have all your subheadings. And then now you can go ahead and add, um, you know, the content, all right, placeholders, all right? So what, what you do is you can go to Paragraph Expander, add that in. And let me scroll down. And then from here, what this Paragraph Expander would do, it will, it, it has a description here. It says this block expands the previous paragraphs. All right, and then you can also do other things such as uh, paragraph plus. So go ahead and add that in. And it says 
this block writes long paragraphs including subheadings and lists so what this block does is it takes the subheading right which is here and it writes a paragraph about it and then this what this block does is it takes this paragraph here and expands it okay so if you want to make it a bit longer all right and i'm just going to add paragraphs to each one let me see one, two three paragraph plus Okay, so just make sure you um, put it underneath the the right subheading. All right, so you want this paragraph to be about this, you have to put it under the right subheading. Okay, just make sure that that's the case. So subheading one has a paragraph plus. Subheading two has nothing. So you can add a paragraph plus. Okay, and subheading three. Uh, paragraph plus and subheading four paragraph plus with the expander so you can you now you can see how that works okay and there's other things that you can do as well you can go ahead and um, oh, I think you can add a conclusion benefits drawback listicles tutorials FAQ and they all draw from the subheading all right uh, from here you can go ahead and just schedule the draft and it'll show you roughly how many words um, the content will be. All right, so they have a little disclaimer here. It says drafts are scheduled and run as soon as resources are available. This can take minutes or even hours. So plan ahead using drafts. All right, so you go ahead and schedule your draft. And once this is done, I'll go ahead and give you a quick read so you can go ahead and see what the content looks like. Okay, so this is what it looks like when it's done. Okay, and what you simply do when you want to add it in is you simply click on add and it will populate on the left hand side. Oops, delete this. Make sure you put the uh, cursor in the right place. All right, so let me go ahead and move this to the right and read a little bit about uh, the work. All right, see how it reads. Benefits of dog walking. Dog walking is a very popular activity among pet owners. According to a study conducted by the American Pet Product Association, over 75% of Americans own a dog and 65% of those people take care of the dogs every day. So there is no doubt that taking your pooch for a walk is a great way to spend quality time with your best friend. Yeah, sounds good. And while dog walking may seem simple, there are several reasons why it can benefit you in, many in so many ways. Here we, we will go into detail about just a few of these amazing benefits. And then it goes into exercise, exercise. Uh, dogs need exercise just like humans do. The average length of a dog's life is 12 years, but they only live up to 10 to 15 years. Therefore, spending less than half the lifetime with your four-legged companion isn't enough to get the full experience of having him with you. And you, you can go ahead and, and read the rest. All right, so I'm just going to go ahead and scroll down. And here's the conclusion. All right, this is the paragraph plus. All right, it's quite long. So I'm going to go ahead and, and, and take, a, take a section of this. All right, just take this up to maybe here. Copy it. And then what I like to do is I like to go to Grammarly and polish it up. Right? So I, I don't use it as is. I just go ahead and paste it in here with certain presets. Click on done and try to get the score up to 80, right? at least 80. So I'll make the corrections, try to go through everything, get this to 80. And of course, I make sure I check for plagiarism to see uh, how well, how unique is the content. Right. So it's about 11% per, plagiarism. Um, so it's about 89% unique. Okay. And, you know, as you, as you make the corrections, this, uh, both of these will go up. All right. But I aim for eight. I try to aim for 80 overall and about 10, all right. 10%, 10% is the minimum five to 10% pla uh, plagiarism. Okay. So that, that's my, my kind of like secret sauce of how I polish everything up.
Uh, if you liked the video, uh, please feel free to let me know by hitting that like button. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.